Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, another day, another Harkle disaster. Well, in fact, this one happened a couple of days ago, but I'm only getting around to reading on it now. And this is, of course, the Spotify debacle. The fact that Spot oh, Tess is giving a big sigh in the background when I said the Spotify debacle. The fact that Spotify is taking matters into their own hands. A year has gone by, more than a year has gone by since that Christmas special, Harkle Holiday special. Uh, nothing has been forthcoming. They hired someone. Uh, an expert in podcasts, I think six or seven months ago. She hasn't produced anything. She does still seem to be working for them. But now what has happened is that Spotify is advertising for a whole team. They are hiring a whole team from writers to producers to researchers, you name it, they are hiring. And uh, the focus seems to be on producing a series of podcasts on high profile female voices. And Megan is allegedly the one who's going to be fronting it. Harry has disappeared from the production, although uh, he apparently is going to be executive producing. And it's a fancy word for someone who doesn't really have any talent, but has money and connections. And so the name, uh, the one who's fronting the money, uh, being involved in that level, putting deals together, but actually doesn't have enough talent to be uh, on camera on screen or in this case behind a microphone so very interesting i have some questions around this we have of course read many times on the spotify deal it never looks good in any of the readings i'm doing but now of course it's gone public very public that the harkles have failed dismally to produce anything for their 18 million dollars that they trumpeted abroad when the deal was inked uh, 18 million dollar deal nothing so far except that very um, ludicrous christmas special where they used all their friends their famous friends and they themselves hardly said a word so my long preamble i am using the shadowland tarot for this reading uh, the shadowland tarot i hope you can see it uh, it's a good deck for when things do turn or go awry as the harkles things do tend to go awry i'm going to be doing a celtic cross i'm going to be asking the questions um, how the harkles are dealing with this level of humiliation because it is very public humiliation have they produced stuff that has been so bad that spotify has told them to bin it and start again uh, why is it that only megan is going to be behind the microphone now is it because they are not on speaking terms is it because prince harry is so dumb that he can't actually come up with his own sentences he's just always sticking his foot in it he has for better up for better or for worse he has re re made a real muck of that telling everyone if they hate their jobs then just quit and uh, so what is really going on and what is the outcome of this going to be this latest day Markle, for the other deals that the Harkles may have signed or have already signed and of course the Netflix one and I'm going to be reading on that one next so Celtic Cross coming out with some very specific questions using the Shadowland Tarot see what's going on with Spotify they are obviously fed up because in the uh hiring stuff in the job ads they say at Gimlet which is their own production company and with their in-house production company which is actually taking over this thing at Gimlet good ideas matter more than titles <laughs> ouch <laughs> um, they really obviously think that Harry and Meghan are absolutely incompetent and uh, we get the Hierophant in reverse as the underlying energy that is somebody who is taking the low road who's not learning their life lessons who's not acting in integrity who are really chaotic because a hierophant is always about structures and and status quo and and those kinds of things your steady climb up the ladder and it's in reverse the harkles are just not um not climbing they're not ascending that ladder they're not um learning their life lessons they are just a shambles really and that is the hierophant in reverse so it's a big deal this it's major arcana it's a big deal it's a big mess and i'm sure that there are heads rolling behind the scenes at spotify for signing these two um on in the first place and just very interestingly i very seldom look at the second underlying card we have strength in reverse the harry and megan card of course the leo card um 
uh, in a position of tremendous weakness, really failing and failing very publicly, the power couple anything but a power couple. So the heart of the matter, and we're reading this from the Harkwell's point of view, the heart of the matter is the seeker, that's the fool card, the zero card, the reset button, having to start all over. Uh, starting all over very publicly and uh, it, already I'm getting a feeling of humiliation that head has fallen off in the card, for lolling on the ground, they lost their heads. Um, they are losing their reputations in public and they're having to start from scratch with this whole situation. Spotify is having to start from scratch and the Harkles are having to start from scratch over a year after uh, announcing this deal so triumphantly and triumphfully. Uh, a challenge is the four of wands in reverse and the challenge is the broken home card, a very interesting uh, unhappy home uh, structures that are failing. Uh, no reason to celebrate. So the Four of Wands in the upright is celebrating. Everything is great. Everything is wonderful. Weddings, happy homes, all that kind of energy. Foundations that you've built that are going to endure, that are very secure in the reverse. And no security. The foundations that they're building are um, crumbling around them. They have nothing at all to celebrate. Unhappy home. It could be a broken home. Lots going wrong there for the Harkles, both I think on the Spotify front in terms of their Archie Well Audio uh, business that they set up and I think in private, I think behind the scenes there's a lot going on with the Harkles. That is not good and that, <clears throat> excuse me, as my voice disappears on me, uh, um, I think could be one of the reasons why this now is going to be fronted by Megan and Harry is not going to be seen or heard on Spotify. Uh, so behind the scenes, what is going on? How humiliated are they? Oh God, this is a real um, a rich, the Five of Cups. This is a horrible card. It's a grim card. It's a card of anguish and despair and remorse and grief. Um, it, it's, it's, it's devastating for them. I've seen this card a few times in readings in the last few days. This energy of, of wretchedness. Uh, really, um, a lot, a lot of emotion, a lot of despair, a lot of misery. Uh, very, I think they're fe really feeling very sore about this, and especially the fact that it's gone public. It's so public now. It's everywhere you look. Um, the Harkles are being bashed for this, and including by Spotify, Good Ideas Matter More Than Titles. What is their focus right now, the Harkles? Seven of Pentacles in reverse, loss of investment. Wow. Um, Seven of Pentacles is uh, good investments, being careful with your money, stockpiling it, being careful with your resources, making sure you've got enough, your harvest, what you've, um, what you've gathered in. And uh, in the reverse, you lose money, lose money, bad investments, bad deals. You haven't been careful. You haven't been, um, you haven't been wise in your choices, in your investments. I think this is going to cost them this failure, this failure absolute failure to produce content and how hard can it be to sit behind a microphone and talk I know I do it every day I have cards to help me I do have an idea of uh, you know my theme for the day the reading I'm going to do but it's really not hard it's just a matter of showing up and lots of people especially are working from home have started to do podcasts YouTube channels um, uh, just to you know, spread, make sure that all their eggs aren't in one basket and uh, to explore their own passions. And um, it's, it's just sensible and it's possible and it's doable, it's easy. Um, so really doing a podcast is not that difficult, especially with the network that the Harkles have, the friends that they should have been able to tap on the shoulder and say, hey, come for a chat, Michelle Obama or whoever. All those, those f f famous people are women that Meghan and Harry allegedly are such good friends with. Where are they now? So what's happened in the past uh, that things have got so bad? The Nine of Wands in reverse. This is a terrible reading. It's the card of giving up, of, of, of just surrendering, of just being overwhelmed. Uh, when it's in the upright, you make your last stand, you try your best, you're exhausted, you're bruised and battered, but you're going to stand there and you're going to resist and you're going to be defiant and your mates might come along to help you and you've got your boundaries and your board is up and you're still 
able to defend yourself but when it's in the reverse you've just exhausted you you've done you've finished you let go hands up i surrender i can't do it anymore so somewhere along the line uh, the heart calls had to actually admit defeat and say we can't do this help there's an SOS there and there is an SOS card in this Shadowland deck. I wonder if it will show up today. So future, are we going to see content? What kind of content are we going to see from them? With, uh, okay, yes, the show is going to get on the road, the chariot, it is going to drive forward. And I would say with Megan um, there, it'd be, uh, driving that chariot and... Uh, inching forward that there's spiders uh, yes it does look like we are going to get some content from them it's going to now finally uh, wheels are in motion with it cars back on the road that Harkle car that forever is driving off the road landing on its uh, roof in a ditch the wheels spinning and smoke coming out the engine they've got it back they've got a tow truck they've pulled it back up off, out of the ditch put it back on the road it's got some dents in it now and I don't think it's going to drive very well but it is back on the road coming up brace yourselves uh, for some uh, I think personal opinion rather nauseating subject matter but anyway uh, what have they produced up until now have they produced anything what was it like was it so terrible that Spotify said take it away uh, what did they do Six of Swords is moving on from disaster, moving on from difficulty. So I think that they may well have uh, produced some things, but things that uh, go away and start again. Energy coming from this card, um, that they, they probably were dwelling on their own um, difficulties as they did with the Oprah interview dwelling on their Megxit this is a Megxit card this is leaving your sorrows behind your your pack up your troubles and uh, not in a kit bag but in a private jet and off you zoom and uh, I think that they were dwelling on Megxit on all their own personal dramas and who cares we've heard it all finding freedom uh, we've had endless um, tales of woe from the Harkles and nobody cares nobody wants to hear it so I think they were told there's that figure pointing quite interestingly at the back of the boat it's a different uh, depiction uh, than usual of course with the Shadowland Tarot of the Six of Swords that figure is kind of pointing at the two cowed figures in front in their hoodies the sort of ghostly wretched figures and saying you know get on with it um, and uh, shape up so yeah I do think they produced stuff that was so bad that it was rejected because it was all um, very um, self-pitying and self-centered and nobody nobody could be bothered with that um, why is only Megan going to be uh, voicing this now why are we going to uh, only hear her dulcet tones on Spotify is it because Harry is too dumb to talk is he not allowed to talk death card Ooh, that's an ending card death death um, a very bad ending when you see the death card something has come to an end uh, it is in the reverse and uh, it's the change card of course something comes to an end you go through this difficult transition period with the death card it's this Pluto card the Scorpio card you go through this death cycle um, you let go of everything everything is stripped away from you and then you have to start all over you start all over with the fool of course and we've seen that something has come to an end uh, the card is in the reverse um, which can be a kind of a stuck energy and uh, it could be that things have ended but they are still stuck together that's how I'm going to read this card because of the readings that I keep doing and the energy that I keep seeing from the Harcourts it has ended at some level that relationship that union has ended but they are tied together and they are tied together with their deals financially so that's why we're getting this um, notion that Harry is going to executive produce this Megan is going to be fronting it and it's all about the things that Megan loves to talk about powerful women she of course thinks she is one successful accomplished women high profile women but uh, what has she ever done uh, okay she was on a cable tv show but uh, mm. Uh, since then one wonders so hopes and fears for the Harcourts with this uh, revamping 
they're hoping that things fly along now with the Eight of Wands. That's that's the unblocking card. Uh, things that have been blocked, the chariot that, that fell off the cliff and uh, plunged down into the abyss, back on the road. Um, wheels are in motion again. That's here. fast movement, swift progress, communication. It's going to burst upon us, uh, unsuspecting public uh, loads. Eight, maybe even we're going to get eight uh, episodes of their uh, this ridiculous podcast and uh, so things they're hoping are going to really progress very swiftly we're going to get good news about it we're actually going to get content delivered and it's all going to save the day outcome outcome of this is spotify taking charge of the hard calls the hopeless hard calls and uh, outcome in particular for their other ventures knight of swords is swift movement so we are going to see action uh, and swords are of course communication the, the word the spoken word very much swords so i think we are going to see um, s things unfolding very quickly now um very quickly but we also may see other people um, e e charging along equally and being quite ruthless and quite cold and vicious with the harkles so uh, netflix for instance if we're hot on the heels of this uh, spotify announcement came a netflix announcement that they are hiring for pearl and i'm going to be reading on that next so um people might be the the knives are out for the harkles with that card with the knight of swords because i was asking specifically for other deals other other entertainment deals that they've got because they do seem to be with those 11 companies that they have founded they do seem to be repositioning themselves in the entertainment industry they've given up with being humanitarians they only got fifty thousand dollars in donations <laughs> and uh, so the humanitarian things dead in the water what have they got left entertainment industry and uh so uh well megan's political career cough cough um Knight of Swords, knives are out for the Harkles, I think. Uh, but they're going to have to deliver now and they're going to have to really pull finger and they have to uh, get on top of things now because this is an unforgiving energy, the Knight of Swords. It's a ruthless energy, a vicious energy, and it needs things done fast. So uh, whoever is pointing the gun at the Harkles head in this little boat, uh, pointing the guns are pointing at their heads all over the place, saying, come on now, uh, you, you need to actually show up and you need to get busy and you need to deliver the goods. So let's see if they can. Be very interesting to wait and watch and see. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you on the next one.